I would like to start by doing a performance test comparison between Tortoise TTS and Only Speak TTS. Let's start with this command that I would use in Tortoise to generate audio. This will generate one output file with the standard preset. Skipping ahead 35 seconds, it has started the process of generating autoregressive samples. On the right side of the progress bar is the timer of how long it is taking. Let's skip ahead. It is about to finish the autoregressive samples. That part took 43 seconds. Let's skip ahead to where it finishes. It has finished. It took 43 plus 6 plus 10 seconds, which according to calc.exe is 59 seconds. Add to it the 35 seconds before it started makes it 94 seconds total. If my math is wrong, blame calc.exe. Let's listen to the output. I love ducks. Now let's run the same test with only speak TTS. On the right is the client where I will enter the prompt and voice, and on the left is the server which will generate the voice. It has finished generating. It will autoplay the voice. I love ducks. So it took two seconds to generate the voice and a few seconds of processing before it played the voice. Let's do one more test, this time with much longer prompt. I'm going to copy-paste this text. First, let's try it in Tortoise. I'm going to replace the previous text with this one. It took 35 seconds again before starting the autoregressive samples. It has finished. It took 4 minutes 55 seconds plus 6 seconds plus 1 minute 1 second. According to calc.exe, that is 362 seconds plus 35 equals 397 seconds. Let's listen. Made slight modifications to the Tortoise API, provided three additional scripts to make using Tortoise easier. Less focus on cloning makes speech generation much faster by default. Now let's try with Only Speak TTS. With Only Speak TTS, it generates a new audio output file for each sentence. And this prompt has two sentences, so we should have two outputs getting generated. made slight modifications to the Tortoise API, provided three additional scripts to make using Tortoise easier. Less focus on cloning makes speech generation much faster by default. So that's 8 plus 6 equals 14 seconds, plus about 5 seconds of processing time equals 19 seconds. That is a pretty significant performance improvement for the voice generation. Let's get on to installing this. I have created a fork of the repository and made some code changes to make it work for me and updated the requirements and readme file. The installation is pretty straightforward and pretty much exactly similar to the Tortoise TTS install from the previous video. All of the install and usage steps are on the forked GitHub page. So I am going to speed through this install part. Once you install the requirements, the install is complete. We now just need to create the Voices folder mentioned here on step 5. I am going to go into that mentioned folder and create a new folder called Voices. In this Voices folder, we will have a new folder for each voice we want to add. And within that folder, there should be a few audio samples with about 10 seconds worth of audio each. I am just going to copy the folder I made in the previous video for Tortoise into this folder. For this one, I have five audio clips. Now we need to open two Anaconda prompts. For some reason, I decided to close the Anaconda prompt I had opened, so we'll need to open two prompts. For both, we will need to activate the environment and CD into the project folder. The way this app works is one will serve as a Flask web server listening for HTTP requests, and the other will serve as a client sending HTTP requests to the server. 
Once both prompts have the environment active and folder location to the app, we will run the server in one and the client in the other by running the respective Python commands for each. The client will immediately say M, which stands for message. We must wait for the server to finish starting before issuing commands on the client. The server says serving Flask app. This means the server is ready to receive requests. The first time you run this, you will need to create a new voice. Start by using the command called new voice, in all caps, within the two bracket caret symbols. It will ask you for the name. Use the same name as the folder name with the audio files we created earlier. For the preset, I will use standard and the suggested default for temp. Same for the rate. You can try experimenting with these settings to see what gives you the best results. Now the server says generating voice. And now it's done. Let's enter a message to hear how this voice sounds. I will enter something about ducks. It asks you for the voice name for each message, each time. I like staring at ducks. If you don't like the voice that was generated, you can run the command redo in all caps within the caret brackets. That will regenerate the voice using the same setting provided. It will likely be similar, but should be slightly different. You can keep doing this until it generates a voice you like. Once it has generated a voice you want to use, issue the command save voice in all caps within the brackets. Doing that will create a new folder in the project root called voice underscore tensors, where it will store the data for this voice. That way, if you close the app and relaunch it later, it will remember the voice and won't vary with each generation, unlike Tortoise. Kind of like using the same seed each time you generate audio with the same voice. To demonstrate this, I have closed the app and now will relaunch it. You could manually launch it like I did before, or you can use a batch script that I created that will auto-launch both prompts. Go to the project root folder and edit the run batch file. Here, there are three variables you will need to modify. The path to your Conda environment, the name of your Conda environment for this app, and the folder where you installed this app. Once you change that and save and exit, you can just double-click the batch file. This will open both prompts, activate the environment, change to the app folder and launch the server and client. Wait for the server to finish starting up before proceeding. Once the server is up, we can use the voice we created earlier. Let's give it a try. I'm going to enter a message and use the voice that was generated. I like staring at ducks. The generated audio is stored in a folder called audio. I think this Waves folder is used by the application to store temporary files. I like staring at ducks. If you go to the root folder and into the voice tensors folder, you will see this is where it stores all of the files for the voice that was generated. This is how it is able to use the same consistent voice the next time you launch the application. As another test, I'm going to close the app and delete this folder and paste in a folder with a voice I generated earlier. It is similar but sounded a little different. Once you have a voice you like, you can create a backup of that voice. And this way, you can swap it in and out easily. I'm going to rerun the app and generate some more audio just for fun. By the way, today my voice sounds calmer, it seems, because I'm trying out 11 Labs version 2. And this is how it sounds with version 2. And this is how it sounds with version 1 again. I'm not sure which one I like more. I kind of like the more energetic one from version 1. I love ducks. Anyways, the voice is generated. You will see clip 6 show up in this folder. Let's try a couple more prompts just for fun.
I spend my free time staring at ducks. But none of the ducks ever stare back. All right, that's good for now, I think. Well, there you have it. What I like about this app is the speed, first of all. And you can also create new voices with the same or different settings through this and also keep the same consistent voice between generations. I might consider creating a UI for this in the future. I like the code and design of the app. It works well and is easy to use and develop upon. Anyways, that's all for now. Let me know if you prefer the Calm 11 Labs version 2 or the Energetic 11 Labs free version time 1 staring at ducks. or maybe a different random voice altogether that is even more wild. But that's none of the all ducks ever stare Enjoy. back. Enjoy! Oh dear, will you stop talking over me? That is so rude. Anyways, sorry about that. That is all for now. Enjoy. And now the screen is blank. What even is going on?